You don't have to be a Christian to see that bad times are coming. People are getting ready for bad times. They're building their own bunkers, and secret hideaways, rich people, governments, to hide themselves from God's coming wrath. And this is foretold in the Bible. And you, if you want to see more proof of that, just do a search on it. But in Isaiah chapter 2, verse 19, we read, And they shall go into the holes of the rocks and into the caves of the earth for fear of the Lord and for the glory of his majesty when he ariseth to shake terribly the earth. And then in Revelation chapter 6, it says, And the kings of the earth, and the great men, and the rich men, and the chief captains, and the mighty men, and every bondman, and every free man, hid themselves in the dens and in the rocks of the mountains, and said to, to the mountains and rocks, Fall on us, and hide us for the face of him that sitteth on the throne and from the wrath of the Lamb. For the great day of his wrath is come, and who shall be able to stand? There's probably a lot more secret bunkers being dug out than we don't even know about. Google it. Do a search on it. So the world knows that things are getting bad. And many Christians who are Bible readers will tell you that we are in the last days. The Bible says we do not know the day or the hour, but we know the season. We are definitely in the season of the last days. There's far too many things coming together to prove this. People are behaving badly. We're, things are getting worse and worse. The Bible says that it will be like birth pangs. So the badness will increase. This year will be worse than last year. And the free, with, they'll increase with frequency and severity. You may get a break here and there, but generally things will increasingly get worse. God says in his word that all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. People are not naturally good like, like those who are accountable for them believe they are. That's why they let them get off with all kinds of offenses and, and give them chance after chance because they just can't believe they would be that bad. But they are. And so since there is no accountability, things increasingly get worse. But there's a spiritual side to all this, which the world has no concept of. The, the Great Tribulation will be far worse than now. It'll be one bad thing on top of another and after one of another. It just would be unimaginable as to how bad things are. And I can go over a lot of that here and probably will if you, you know, come back and subscribe and I'll, I'll have more and more to talk about. It's not going to end. It. There's only going to be more things to talk about as long as I'm here to tell you and you're here to listen about it. We'll keep doing that. But in Second Thessalonians, Chapter 2, verse 7. The secret, of, secret power of lawlessness is already at work, but the one who now holds it back will continue to do so till he is taken out of the way. So what this is referring to is when a Christian, a person becomes a Christian, they are indwelt with the Holy Spirit. The power of the Holy Spirit restrains evil. But the Spirit is going to leave when Christians leave. 
Because in the next verse, it says, and then shall the wicked be revealed, that wicked be revealed from whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth and shall destroy with brightness of his coming, even him whose coming is after the working of Satan with all power of and signs and lying wonders and with all deceivableness of unrighteousness in them that perish because they receive not the love of the truth and they might be saved. This is the, the person, the Antichrist. He's going to come as a savior and people are going to believe him because they want to believe him. They don't want to believe the truth as it is presented now to them, like I'm presenting to you right now. They don't want to hear it. They don't want it. They want something different, something that lets them continue to sin. But read on the very next verse after these, and for this cause God shall send them strong delusion that they should believe a lie. So in other words, most people are going to fall for this strong delusion. It won't be good. Next verse, chapter or verse 12, that they all might be damned who believe not the truth, but had pleasure in unrighteousness. That's horrible. You don't want any part of that. That's the worst thing ever. The Holy Spirit's going to be gone. So literally, as I've mentioned before, all hell will break loose. And the Holy Spirit will be gone for a moment, but if people start believing on Jesus then, they will be indwelt with the Holy Spirit. So, you know, this is also proof of the pre-tribulation rapture. The Antichrist comes immediately after the Holy Spirit is removed. You don't want to be here for the Great Tribulation. Believe on Jesus. He came as God born of man the first time, and he willingly gave his life for whoever will believe on him. All, all people must believe on Jesus, that he is the only way to God's heaven. We Christians beg you and beg you to please believe on Jesus. Don't be too smart for God. If you're like that, you're believing a big fat lie. Believe on Jesus now. He's waiting for you. He wants you to accept him. Accept him while you still can. You have no idea how soon he is coming. He's waiting for you right now. Pray to him. Repent of your sin and receive him and do his will. Don't be around for these big lies that is going to make everybody believe in them. Nobody ever regrets becoming a Christian. They don't. Ask any Bible-believing Christian about it. 